It's a very unique chemistry set located a few miles north of Beulah, North Dakota. The Great Plains Sinfuels plant is a 21st century plant that was built in the 1980s. It's a one-of-a-kind facility. The only other plant that's similar to it is located in South Africa. Since 1984, the Great Plains Sinfuels plant has been producing natural gas from coal. The process starts by feeding about 18,000 tons of North Dakota lignite into 14 massive gasifiers. The gasifiers break down the molecular structure of the coal, producing a raw gas. This gas is cleaned and refined to produce a pipeline quality natural gas and a variety of additional products. The plant was built by a consortium of natural gas companies from across the country. In the late 1970s, there was a perceived shortage of natural gas. Officials were predicting that by the 1990s, there would be no natural gas available. The consortium came up with a solution to keep natural gas flowing into America's homes. The idea was new, convert lignite coal to natural gas using a technology that's now generations old, coal gasification. Because North Dakota had massive reserves of lignite, it was a perfect location for coal gasification technology. At one time, more than 20 plants, each one twice the size of the Great Plains Sinfuels plant, were envisioned. In the end, this was the only one built. Construction began in 1980 after the United States Department of Energy guaranteed $1.5 billion in loans to the consortium members. This over and above the $500 million they had already committed. The plant began operations in 1984, and within the next year, the price of natural gas fell dramatically, far below the cost of production. The consortium asked the DOE for price supports, but were denied. Consequently, the consortium declared bankruptcy in 1985 and abandoned the project. The U.S. Department of Energy then assumed operation of the plant and ran it for three years. During that time, officials from DOE had to decide what to do with the plant. They decided to sell it, and the rest is history. On October 31, 1988, Basin Electric bought the plant from the Department of Energy and formed the Dakota Gasification Company to own and operate it. This move by Basin Electric not only saved more than 700 North Dakota jobs, but also repaid the federal government $1.5 billion. Today, the Great Plains Sinfuels plant stands as an icon in North Dakota, a tribute to what can be accomplished for using coal in a non-traditional way. The plant can produce up to 170 million cubic feet of equivalent natural gas a day, the majority of which is piped to Ventura, Iowa for distribution in the eastern United States. The number one logo symbolizes the unique process and operation of converting lignite coal to natural gas and other coal products. It also symbolizes a bold move back in the 1970s to secure an energy future for the nation using North Dakota lignite. The Great Plains Sinfuels plant operation is a benchmark of how coal can be a part of this nation's energy future by using it in an environmentally friendly way. North Dakota has at least 800 years of recoverable lignite, and it's important that this energy resource not be ignored. It should be utilized. The Great Plains Sinfuels plant is one way of doing just that. Even though this plant was built in the 1980s, it is a modern facility. The leaders at the time had a vision for the future to not only produce natural gas from coal, but additional products as well. When the plant first began operations, its primary product was natural gas and relatively small amounts of anhydrous ammonia and liquid nitrogen produced as co-products. But those leaders, knowing that pricing of natural gas was very volatile, decided that these additional products should be a part of the process as well. Each additional product was carefully analyzed to see if it could be developed at the plant and to make sure there was a market for sales. The philosophy for developing these additional products was to provide a revenue stream as a hedge against the constantly changing price of natural gas. This philosophy paid off in 2012 when the additional products were more than half the plant's revenue stream. This was the first time this had happened since the plant began operating. The natural gas and additional products from the Sinfuels plant are used nationwide. Synthetic natural gas, SNG, is gaseous fuel manufactured from coal using the coal gasification process. About 42 million decatherms of SNG are produced annually. Ammonium sulfate is an agricultural fertilizer marketed under the name Daxol 45. 
Approximately 105,000 tons are produced yearly by a flue gas desulfurization system. Anhydrous ammonia is used as fertilizer for farming and as a feedstock for producing various chemicals. Dakota Gas has the ability to produce about 400,000 tons per year. Carbon dioxide is used for enhanced oil recovery. About 2 million metric tons are shipped to Canada every year. Liquefied carbon dioxide is used for fracking fluid. Up to 73,000 tons can be produced annually. Crude chrysilic acid is used in the manufacture of pesticides and products such as wire enamel solvent, phenolic and epoxy resins, and antioxidants. About 30 million pounds are produced per year. Krypton and xenon gases are used for specialty lighting, such as high-intensity lighting and lasers, and for thermal pane window insulation. About 3.5 million liters of krypton xenon are produced every year. Liquid nitrogen is used for food processing refrigeration, as an oil well additive, and in chemical processes. Up to 300,000 gallons are produced each year. Naphtha contains products that can be used as a gasoline blend stock, in making solvents, and in benzene production. About 8.4 million gallons are produced annually. Phenol is used for the production of resins in plywood manufacturing and in the casting industry. About 28 million pounds of phenol are produced every year. Tar oil is produced for fuel blends and a special carbon black feedstock. Up to 40 million gallons are produced annually. In 2017, Dakota Gas started manufacturing urea a high nitrogen granular fertilizer used in the agriculture industry. The main production inputs for urea are ammonia and carbon dioxide, both of which are readily available at the plant. The urea facility can produce about 1,100 tons daily. Additionally, diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, is also produced in the urea facility and is used for emission control in diesel engines. Up to 64 million gallons can be produced annually. A pioneering spirit helped create Basin Electric in 1961. The incorporators knew what needed to be done to serve the growing need for electricity in rural America. That pioneering spirit continues and is evident in some of the plant's mechanical firsts. Today, with an ever-evolving business landscape and regulatory environment, Basin Electric and its subsidiaries like Dakota Gas continue to evolve in today's ever-changing market. The Sinfuels plant has a strong legacy of ingenuity, but it wasn't built overnight. It took decades. The people here have demonstrated it takes bold steps to maintain viability, not only for Basin Electric Power Cooperative and its members, but also for the plant itself. The Sinfuel plant's gasification operations and CO2 capture and transport continue to draw worldwide attention. Both visitors and national media agencies visit and report on the plant and its success. The Sinfuels plant is a model for energy security. It demonstrates what is possible and necessary to secure America's energy future.